All right. Hi everyone, my name is Josh with US Cutter and today we're going to be talking about white toner laser transfer. If any of you have spoken to me before, you know that this is something that I'm very passionate about and today we're going to show you some new technology that we just brought on over here at US Cutter. So as you know, that uh, when you do a normal laser uh, toner print, uh, most, most laser printers are only set up to have cyan, yellow, magenta, and black, uh, which that can be fine if you're going to just be doing designs for clothing on a white t-shirt. So as you can see, we have an image here. Uh, this is a custom design done here with a little bit of kitty cats, lasers, pizza, and the in, sp in space. This is something that everyone needs a bit of in their life. But you can see it when you put it right here on the white shirt, it looks just fine because, you know, just like a normal piece of paper, it's expecting, you know, the background to be white. So everything looks fine. Here, we have an image where we added a little bit of white toner on the back side. Now, even on a white t-shirt, you can see that the colors actually pop a little bit more because they have that extra layer of white toner down below. Now let's take a look on how it looks on a black t-shirt. So we'll take the image that doesn't have the white toner in the background first. And you can still make the image out, but it doesn't look as bright. And then anywhere that you see where there's just that clear look, it's just going to be black just like the t-shirt because there's no toner there to hold it on. And then we put the one that we have put the white toner on. You'll see that all the colors are popping very nicely. And then you'll also see that you can see little kitten's paws very clearly now. So just a quick side by side. All right. And the way that we're going to solve this problem for you, you know, a lot of the other white toner printers, they're going to start around $4,000 and up just for something that's going to print 8.5 by 11 inches. But we've got a lower cost option that's only going to be a fraction of that here at US Cutter. And with that, we have the HP Color Jet uh, M452DW. Uh, this is going to be uh, the, this printer here, the M452DW, will print up to 8.5 by 11 inch size sheets, no problem. It's wireless. It's also got a nice little display here on the front that is very easy to work through. Uh, you can do all of your printer settings in that. Now, when it comes to actually printing out of the HP printer, I recommend that you use the top loading function. So you're going to use tray 1 and not tray 2. The reason that we're going to use tray 1 and not tray 2 is that because the paper doesn't have to bend as much and so you're not going to have uh, or you're going to have less likely of a chance to have a scratch or anything on your transfer paper. So we'll go ahead and pull it up, get started and load in something real quick. For today's example we're going to be using Forever uh, dark, no-cut, trim-free paper. Uh, the reason we're using this is, personally, I feel that you know, if you're doing something for a commercial uh, job, this is going to be the best paper for it. So what we're going to do here is load the printer. With the Forever paper, you know you have a, basically a clear sheet. So what we're going to do is just scratch there. You'll see that the, the adhesive, or <clears throat> this little coating on the front is where the adhesive sticks. So that's the side that we're going to put up into the printer. Now, I'm going to show you how we're going to set up the image so that we can do the printing with the Ghost White uh, toner inside of our HP printer here. All right. So as you can see in this demo, I'm here in Photoshop. I've got my image loaded already. I'm just going to go up to File and print because there's a few things that I need to change in the printer settings before we go forward with this. Uh, okay, we're going to go right here to the print settings and then you'll see this page is opened up right here on the printing shortcuts. I'm going to go to paper source and select tray one. Paper type, this is very important, the paper type we're going to select la color laser transparency. Uh, the reason we're selecting this is so that it slows the uh, actual application of the toner down so that we'll stick to the paper and that we have enough for the adhesive to stick to it. Once we're done with that, just select OK 
and then we're just going to print like normal. Now that we have our color image printed, we're going to put the white toner in so that we can add that final layer and then press it to the shirt. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out our white toner cartridge, take off the bottom here. Now, when we're loading it, we're going to shut this front part, and then there's a button over here on the right. Just press it, and the lid will come right down, or the front will come right down. Pull this out. You'll see that you have all of four of your toner cartridges. You have black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. But we're only going to replace the black with the white toner. As you can see, very clean. It's not gonna, it doesn't have a bunch of dust everywhere. Same thing with the uh, black toner. We'll just put it in, shut it. And then you also want to make sure that you always cover up your toner cartridge. It may not fit perfectly, but just get it on there to where that, that roller is covered. And then you'll just put it down. Wait a little while for the printer to initialize. Each time you put the cartridge or the toner cartridge in there, it's actually cleaning the cartridge for you so that you don't have to worry about it messing up your next print. So while it's doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and get it prepped. Now, when you're loading in your image, it's very important that you remember what part came out first. You notice that the kitty's head came out first here, so that's going to be the first side that we're going to feed into the printer. If not, then we'll, when we do that white layer, it's going to come up backwards and it's not going to actually match where the print is. Now that we've inserted the white toner cartridge, it's had time to calibrate and it's ready to go. Now we just need to configure our image for printing with the white toner cartridge inserted. So to do that, we're going to go back to our edit image editing software, and for this example, I'm using Photoshop again. We're going to take the same image that we had before and just do a few different steps with it. So I'm going to go to the image, adjustments, and then we're going to move it down to black and white. Because the only thing we're trying to use is the white toner cartridge, which it thinks is now the black toner cartridge. Now, from there, we're going to go to image, adjustments, and then invert. And what this does, exactly as you see here, changes the black from white, white to black. Now it's ready for us to print using the white toner. So now I'm just going to go down to print and instantaneously Now that our print is complete, you'll see that the white toner is completely covering the image, just like we had in our second image. And now we're just going to be ready to press the adhesive to it and then put it on a t-shirt. 